Good morning and welcome to Your Daily Spark. So a psychologist came home from a tough day at the office and said, Honey, I've spent a day listening to one problem after another. Please don't tell me any more bad news. I just, I just want to hear good things. And the wife thought for a second and said, Well, here's the good news. The car airbags work. In 2 Chronicles 18, Israel's king Ahab didn't like bad news either. So don't tell me bad news, only tell me good news. When he needed advice, he consulted his pet prophets, who said whatever his itching ears wanted. But because the prophet Micah's news wasn't often good, because he was often sinning, was King Ahab, he wasn't often consulted. King Jehoshaphat, uh, King Ahab's ally in the impending battle, saw through the throng of false prophets. He, he requested they quit fooling around and seek the advice of a prophet who would give them a proper answer from God. Ahab couldn't deny that Micah was the man. He just didn't want to hear the bad news. So the prophet uh, first told the king to go ahead and fight. And Ahab said to him, well, hang on a minute. Are you telling the whole truth? When he pressed the prophet, just to, I, think the, I think Micah was even mocking him a little bit here. Um, he pressed him and he said, what's God really saying? And for Micah, even though he was encouraged to say what the king wanted to hear, he had to speak the truth at that point, no matter the consequences. And so he told the king, he, at risk to himself, he told the king the truth. The king was going to be killed in the battle. Ahab demonstrates a stubborn attitude that's typical of many men. Nobody's going to tell me what to do. You know, we plan a course of action and we follow through with the consequences no matter what. God's truth might be hard for us to accept, but it's always good for us to hear it. And if God's word declares, if what, if what God's word declares isn't what we want to hear, we, we should not choose to ignore it. Disregarding the truth doesn't make it go away and it doesn't make it not a truth. It's still the truth. So I would urge you to listen to God and accept that even if it's not what you're after, even if it's not what you want, because God loves you. If you can trust him in the tough times, you can trust him at any time. We'll see you tomorrow on Sparks.